on to our weekly feature, smart farms and livestock rearing remains a predominant activity, especially in arid and semi-arid lands. In a bid to improve production, farmers are being encouraged to grow their own feeds as one of the incentives to ensure food security for livestock. Our, our very own Dennis Satiano has more on this week's Smart Farm. <laughs> Hilary Kimeu is enjoying his retirement the best way he can. On this farm at Kwanzoka village in Makindu, Makwini County, is now a full-time livestock keeper. He also grows his own pasture. On his 20-acre farm, seven acres are reserved for sowing the indigenous grass seed. Away from his farm at the Calro Center in Kiboko is a 34-acre field set aside for growing grass seed under irrigation. Four varieties of range land grasses thrive here. The seeds are harvested and stored. This tractor is harvesting grass on this farm used for seed bulking. Such seeds target local farmers keen on beating the ravages of drought. Our grass, for example, we call sand grass. Cerealis is one of the grasses that we took out to the farmers. That grass has not died. We know it is going to regenerate in the coming season. And the whole idea was to make sure that we work with the private sector to continue multiplying the seeds because the demand for grass seeds in this country is over 20, 20, 20 tons per year. And not many people are doing it. We have been trying to do it here as Cairo, but we don't have sufficient capacity. The demand is way above what we can produce. Before the onset of the current dry spell, Hillary had reaped what he had sown, bales of grass which is stacked away. Kama wakati uo kienda hiu hapa inje watu wanatabeka sana na nyasi, na chakula ngombe na mimi sitabiki, kwa sababu niko nayo, nimetunza. Hizi nyasi, mimi natumea machine kwa harvest, na kuja kwa fathi hapa. Researchers at Calro are conducting studies on various grass varieties with a view to helping farmers multiply the seeds. Hotel. Our aim for characterization is basically to come up with among these different ecotypes and collection one that is superior in terms of biomass productivity, the seed production and nutritive value. These are the seeds. As you can see, they are just being blown away by the wind. Hillary is among a few dairy farmers in the country who have resorted to growing their own feeds in a bid to cut down on production costs. Research and support services from organizations like Calro are playing a major role in ensuring farmers access the seeds they need to grow. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.